Hey, orange one here. So I'm jumping into a custom battle here so I can show you how to command your army. Right now I've got a little group of infantry over there um, and I've got my whole army right Stay here. Um, so you may have noticed like, hey, when I load into the game, my guys are just standing there. Like, how do I give them commands? How do I get them to do things, right? The game doesn't really have a tutorial as of right now as to how to do that. So here's the basic idea. Um, your F1 through F9 keys allow you to command people, and your 1 through, in this case, 1 through 4, allows you to select different units to give commands to. That's the main idea. You know, if at its core, that's all you, you really can do, but it allows you to do some really interesting things. So, for example, if I was trying to defend, like, this hill, I could be like, hey, infantry, I need you to, um, instead of following me, if I hit F1, I can then command them. Okay, now I'm like stuck between all my troops. I could then command them to be like, hey, go over here. Um, so basically, the commands, I'm just gonna tell everyone, everyone. to like, go over there. Move. Just everyone go over there for a second so I can actually give commands. And it looks like the others are pretty far away, so we're not gonna charge at them anytime soon. So yeah, basically the commands are F1, that gives you a drop down menu that's all related to their position, so you can tell them to, for example, follow to follow me. you, or you can be like, follow. hey, hold that position, or charge towards the enemy, advance, makes them go towards the enemy, fall back away from them, six stops them in their position, retreat, makes them run out of the map, and forfeit, you know. Um, and then F2 allows you to face the enemy, or you can be like, hey, everyone, I want you to, if I look like over there, um, look, that way. look that way. Simon says, right? So I can tell him to look certain uh, directions. Or I can be like, hey, I want you um, First looking that, that way. way, you know? So you can give them commands, or you can just be like, hey, uh, face, the, on the, enemy. face the enemy, wherever they are, you know? And the enemy are, is way over there, so they'll turn to actually face them. So you can get your characters to face different ways. Um, if you ever want to get out of one of the drop-down menus, you should just press F9. So if I press F1, but I accidentally pressed it, I can press F9, and it brings me to the other options. F3, this gives you formations, so I can be like, hey, I want Form a shield, a shield wall. wall, which doesn't really make sense for these guys. You can see the cavalry uh, reacted, and these guys, they, they've changed their formation. Infantry. So I can be like, um, hey, infantry, I want you to um, make a circle. A circle. Outward. Or that was the cavalry, sorry, that was the wrong one. Uh, let's see, F3, F4. Form a circle. So then they'll they'll get into that little formation that you just told them to do. Which, you know, I haven't played around with it a lot in-game, but it looks like the formations are actually good formations, and I'm excited to use them. Like, legit excited. Like, for example, Infantry. Um, horse archers. getting, like, the horsemen Soldiers. here, and then getting them into a uh, skeeve. Like punch to punch through like an enemy line. Oh man, that sounds so cool to me. Like, and then the really cool thing is then you can Follow when me. these guys have these commands, you can then move them around. And guess what? They stay in formation, yo. Look at that. Look at that formation. Look at that skeeve. Kind of. Move. <laughs> it's kind. It, it looks a little odd there now that they've stopped, but I think they were just turning. You can see the skeeve now. Yeah, that's a much better perspective on the skeeve. You can see it. Um, another interesting thing that's... Mountain archers! Let's go with the archer archers for this. Turn to enemy! Archers! Archers. I can... Fire! Tell them to fire at will. I had them disabled it so they didn't just pelt the Hold enemy. So arrows! I could actually give these uh, demos. So F4 is really useful, because you're probably going to want them to hold, hold their arrows. arrows fairly often. You know, if you're waiting to get behind an enemy or get on top of a hill, you don't want them firing their arrows. It's pretty useful. I've, I've found it extremely useful in the captain mode. 
uh, holding arrows. Um, now, if I look at my horse archers here, or any of them, I can say, hey, dismount! dismount. And then I can tell them to mount Hold back up, horses! and they will, right? And so that would be moderately useful if you're trying to get your cavalry people into uh, a line, if you're trying to just get everyone uh, lined up. Troops! Uh, now, I'm interested Troops! to try something. Um, I haven't actually archers! tried this before, but if I tell them dismount! to dismount, archers! and then I tell Foot the archers... Infantry! Um... Bowman, move! Let's tell the archers to actually... Dismount! Uh, mount up. Mount horses! Will they actually go and mount those horses? No. It doesn't look like they will. That's a shame. Okay. Um, I don't see why you would actually want to do that, but... Fire! Kind of an interesting little thing that you have um, some options with. Now here's here's the really 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 cool thing. If you don't want to mess with any of these commands, and you're like I just want my people to go in and charge in and kill, but I want to like run around and maybe get some melee. You can totally do that. Now, what you want to do is you want to do um, everyone. I think it's underneath everyone. No, this is something, something, oh, I'm pressing the numbers, not the F buttons. So if I'm telling everyone, um, I can be like, hey. Sergeants, take command! Sergeants, take command, and they'll just kind of manage their own units. Like those everyone. four groups, essentially there's someone in charge of each one of them. On my command! Or I can tell them, like, if I hit F6, Sergeants in it, charge. it's either, like, command or listen to me, you know? Um, and hold on, guys, I'm almost done. There's one last thing that I want to show off. If you hit F7, um, let's see, F7, you can create a new group. You can be like, I want a new group of skirmishers. And so you might do this so you can be like, okay, I want to hold the line, but I want this Good little man. group to um, like uh, come with me. And hold the line or try and flank to do like a little flanking maneuver, right? So you can create a little unit and see this is like my little unit of guys right here. And it's interesting, they're actually a mix of the horse archers and the um and the archers because they've got the appropriate weapons. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the basic idea behind um Follow your soldiers. giving commands. Um, I am going to just finish off this group, letting my sergeants do what they want to do. And you can you can check it out and see see what they they got planned for us. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I um if you haven't checked out my channel before, I got a number of um of games I play, but I've got a Bannerlord Let's Play series as well as a number of tutorial videos. Um, if you like what you saw here, please go check those out. Um, everyone just George! charge. I don't know why your sergeants are not charging in. Just go get them. But yeah, I've got I've got the Let's Play. I've got those tutorial videos. If you, if you enjoyed it, please uh, put a comment down below. Even if it's just filler, it helps me out. Like, the algorithm just looks for comments, watch time, and likes. So if you, uh, if you like and comment, man, that's awesome. And I also have some merch for sale if you want it as well. Okay, people are charging in. Let's see what they end up doing. Oh, did I not tell everyone to charge? I think I just told one of my units to charge. Yeah, come on, guys. Okay, that cab's not going to do well. And you can just see, this is why you use a formation, right? Watch this. That cab's just going to die. Or no, he actually pushed through. Okay. That surprised me. Um, can I tell... Sergeants, take command! Yeah, uh, they're going to all collect up. I wonder if it was they weren't all coming in because I had only selected that one unit and he's like, I'm not going in if they're not going in, you know? Because I think we're, they're moving up. Yeah. I feel a little bit bad because this is not an equal fight. Um, if you want to see me doing some more custom matches of like an even fight, I would be down to do that. Just to kind of show off what this looks like in action. L let me know how many of you, if you 
want to see that, put a comment down below with that. Or if you've got any questions related to anything that I covered, please put that down below as well. But we'll uh, we'll finish off this group maybe, and then we'll we'll be done. Looks like the sergeants are just gonna try and arch them down. Okay, well if you're gonna do that. Infantry! Mounted archers! Mounted archers, follow, follow me. me. Come over here. If you're gonna just try and arch them, you might as well flank them. That's all I'm saying. Do you guys even have your arrows left? Old fire! Fire our will! Yeah, I don't think they have their arrows left. That's a bummer. Uh, cavalry. Well, let's get our other cavalry then. Stay close! I don't know why it's saying infantry, but down below it's saying cavalry. It seems that they haven't got all the voices working properly. Let's get all of the cav up here. And then I'm gonna tell... Infantry! Forward! Okay, you guys can charge in. And we'll get we'll get them on the flank. Soldier attack! Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think that I'm I'm interested to see what the sergeant Take suggests. Over command. I'm pretty sure that they're just gonna charge in at this point, yeah. Kill him good. Oh, I hit one of my own horse from there. Oh, almost gone. Yeah, if you if you like what you saw here, also I I am hoping to do more combat and in, in the let's play, but it's gonna be a little while. We're trying to do a merchant let's play, so maybe a little while before we're doing these crazy battles. 100 plus people. This dude's good with a bow. He's better than the person in my my campaign. Okay, so there we go. That's it. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.